knew himself that it was the wrong thing to do, so he withdrew his hand. It happened very quickly, and uh, unfortunately, they um, well, the gave him the hand sucker back in. You know, he's doing very well, and then uh, two bad at exchanges, yeah. and it was over. Yeah. You see, it's not really the leg grabs that they're trying to stop. Because there are some leg grabs that are executed absolutely fantastic. Some yeah. Kataguruma, like, you know, like Nick, for example, they're just yeah. absolutely fantastic. What they're trying to stop is the posture, the stance that comes as a result of people consistently using leg grabs and only yeah. using those techniques. Yeah. This is what they can't yet um, overcome. They can't break this through coaching or coach education um, or other rule applications where they say, you know, we want you to stand upright. So what they're now saying is that the techniques that normally can, can be done from people bent over are what we're going to um, uh, um, stop. In particular, the ones that have a leg grab element to them. Whether it will work or not, we'll have to see, because we haven't had long enough. Um, there may be one or two mistakes along the way, like, like yeah. this, and Murin has paid for it by having to settle for silver. Yeah. But I'd like to have another look at that and see if Whether he did he actually, actually make yeah. if he if he made contact, then all we're talking about is rubbish. He made yeah. contact, but from what from what I saw, he shaped for the leg grab and then thought, oh no, I better not do that. Yeah. And then anyway, as he was coming back out, he got thrown for a hip Yeah. <laughs> but maybe because he was um, his concentration had been broken. Yeah. He, he was thinking, no, don't do the leg grab. And the minute you start thinking about don't do something. You're open, you open yourself up for getting caught by some other technique. Yeah. And that's what's happened. Can't believe the crowd of people that have turned up around the, um, the, the metal rostrum. Where have all they come from? There's <laughs> <laughs> more people around the, there than there is in the stadium. Yeah, in the entire uh, seating area. That's a very big venue. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. We were thinking maybe 16... 16,000. Well, if the Olympics were a good good indicator, I would have uh, imagined the packed house. Yeah, the thing with the Olympics is if you've got a lot of, you know, you've got a big foreign contingent traveling, yeah. they're going to make up maybe three and a half, four thousand. Well, the medal presentation has taking place and it's now the national anthem of Japan. spoke right through that um, medal presentation ceremony. Normally we say who the gold medalist, silver medalist, bronze medalist, but I think everyone at home saw it anyway. It was the under 48 kilo category and it's all online, ijf.org. Click on um, current events. We're here in uh, Qingdao, China. Just click on live results and they're all, they're all there. Well, the program now.